Hey y'all, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are finally doing another declutter. It has been a hot second since I've done a declutter video. I've just been like putting it off and not in the mood. But today I'm in one of those like cleaning moods and we're going to be tackling probably one of my most intimidating drawers in my makeup collection. My lipsticks. I have way too many. Like way too many. And the thing with lipsticks is they actually go old. And it's kind of gross when you think about it keeping some for like years and uh, using them it's just no good so we are going to be brutal in this video let's refer to pinterest and see when do lipsticks expire am i the only one who uses pinterest as their search engine because i totally do all right so most of them are supposed to last six months um with the exception of like lip pencils because you can sharpen them so i will go with a good six month rule or if it's something i just don't use then we can get rid of it um, this is going to be a long video, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Alright, so I just want to give you guys a good visual of how many lip products I have. This is my drawer. It is overflowing, and then I have stuff like in the purses and things, so I need to go through those. But yeah, this is what we are starting with. Kind of a lot. I love a lot of these, but a lot of these I don't even use. Like, I can see a few right now that I haven't used in years. So, this is our starting point. Now, let me go ahead and go organize these, and we will start the declutter. All right, everyone. So, we have things semi-organized. So, I have all my liquid lipsticks here, my normal lipsticks here, lip liners, lip glosses, and then balms and, like, stains and stuff up here. So, let's just go ahead and dive right in. This is a lot. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with the lipsticks because they're right in front of me. And I think I'm just going to first start by picking some of my favorites slash my most recent purchases. So something I recently picked up is one of the new Fenty Beauty Stena Lip Paints. And this one's in the shade Uncuffed. Definitely going to keep this. I do quite like it. And like I said, it's new. So we're going to keep it. And I'm also going to keep my Smashbox Always On liquid lipstick in the shade Stepping Out because this was actually a repurchase. That's how much I liked it. I went through a full one and had to get a second. So we're going to keep this too. Um, and then I'm also going to keep my Stella Lip Paint in their original red shade called Uncensored because this is actually a really good universal red and I want to keep it. This one I have to keep too. It's from YSL and it's one of those like a tour matte lip stains in the shade number 23. This is a really good color for like winter because it kind of has that dusty mauve thing going on and it's so comfortable. So we're going to keep this. I also want to keep this. It's the NARS American Woman Liquid Lipstick. I always get so many compliments when I wear this and it is seriously one of the most long wearing things but still very comfortable and I love it. So we're going to keep that one. Some things I'm going to get rid of that I see off the bat that are like way too old are first all of my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. First of all, I don't really support her brand anymore since she had her little controversies. And these are all very, very old. I'd be embarrassed, honestly, to tell you how old these are. So these are going to go. I'm also going to get rid of this Oprah liquid lipstick because it is quite old. It's in their old packaging. It's in the shade Havana Nights. It's really, really pretty. But like I said, it's way too old. I'm also going to get rid of my NYX lip lingerie. These just aren't very comfortable, not going to lie. So this one's got to go. Also going to get rid of my Kylie liquid lipstick because this is way too old too. It's in Candy K. It was a really good color, but it's way too old. I'm sad to say I'm going to have to get rid of my Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. This was a limited edition shade from not this past Christmas, but the Christmas maybe before or maybe even before that. I'm honestly not sure, but it's a really good shade, but it's way too old. This one I'm definitely going to keep. It's one of their Velvet liquid lipsticks in the shade Bound. It's one of my favorites. I'm actually almost done with it. If you can't tell, there's a little, little empty hole there. So I'm going to keep using this one up. Um, this one I'm also going to keep. It's fairly new. It is one of the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. This one's in the shade number Seductress. These are really good liquid lipsticks if you are shopping for something on a budget. Now, all my Pixie ones are actually pretty dang new. I got the whole set sent to me um, maybe like a month or two ago. So they're all very new, but I don't need to keep all the colors. So let's see. I'm never going to wear this one. I'm not going to wear this one. Might wear this one. This could be a good option. This orange always looks so bad on me. It looks so good on people with like a nice like olive complexion. But for me, it makes my teeth look yellow. 
Um, the red is really, really pretty. It's good, like, Georgia red. I'm going to keep this one. And then, let me see which one is the one I like. I like matte beige. Bare Beauty is really pretty on. The shade All Natural is a little too peachy for me, so I'll get rid of those and then keep these four. Next, I'm getting rid of the Major Matte Liquid Lipstick. I think this is from Sleek, yes. And it was just too drying, so got to go. Ooh, this one I really want to keep. It is so good. It's from Makeup Forever. I want to say I got it. Oh, no, when did I get this? This might be old. Ooh, I think this is old, y'all. So I want to say I got it like a year ago. So got to get rid of it. Okay, my Dose of Color ones. I think they also need to go. Look at how grody this packaging has gotten. Can you guys see it? It's like all just dirty and gross. Ooh, okay, that's sad. Um, but yeah, I think I'll get rid of both of these because they are old. They're really, really good, but it's time. I told you I was going to take this seriously. So let's move on. I have a few of the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. These are old and they're not the most comfortable compared to the ones I'm keeping. So we'll get rid of those. I'm going to get rid of my Huda Beauty little minis because I never wear these colors. I hope they got to go. Um, what is this? Oh, this one's fairly new. This is the Ultra Satin Lip with Kathleen Lights in the shade Dreamy. Mm, you know, I think I'll get rid of it. I don't really wear it. And then another Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Freakin' Frack. And I think this is kind of old too, so I'll get rid of that. What else do we have? We have a lot of these... I thought we had more. I have a few of the Bare Minerals liquid lipsticks, which are actually so freaking comfortable. This one's in the shade Boss. And this one's in the shade Boss. Wow, okay. Um, I'm going to say that this one looks newer, so I'll keep the newer one because it is really good, really comfy, good for like work and stuff. Um, but yeah, of course I'd have two of the same, so I'll get rid of the old one. Let's tackle the Ofer ones. These are actually all sent to me because they're like a Southwest Florida theme. So the names are all very like Southwest Florida. And really the only shade I truly like in here is uh, Ball Harbor. It's really pretty nudie brown. So I'm going to keep that one. And then I'm also going to keep Sanibel because I love Sanibel Island. It's really pretty. So I'll keep these two and declutter the other two. And also their formula is really good and they smell like vanilla cupcakes. We love it. And the rest of these, I'm going to go ahead and declutter because just looking at them, I know I'm either not going to use them or they're too old. So first, I have my Sephora liquid lipsticks. These are actually really good. They're very affordable. I've just had them for too long. Um, this one is a Smashbox liquid lipstick. I've had it for too long. I remember last time I tried to use it. It's just like all dry and crusty. So it's got to go. Um, this one is a ColourPop something in the shade Barracuda. The writing's totally worn off. And like, look at the wand. It's a little wonky. So... This one's going to go. And the rest of these are just like little samples. I have a lot of the steel ones, which for me just aren't comfortable. There you go. The Melted Matte and the shade Queen Bee. I love the name, but it's not a good color on me. And then this Tardis Lip Paint. These are the most uncomfortable things, so it's going to go. And then a little sample of the Makeup Forever in the shade 105. Again, she's not a good color on me, so it's got to go. All right, so I moved the lipsticks closer because I thought that's what I was going to use next, but I think I'm actually going to knock out my other smaller piles, and then we'll tackle this at the very end. So we'll just move it on back, move it on back. Let's tackle my lip liners, and honestly, I don't use lip liners very often, so I'm going to get rid of the majority of them. The ones I'm going to keep are first this Charlotte Tilbury Lip Sheet in the shade Pillow Talk because this is new. I got it for my birthday, and I love the color. And honestly, that's the only one I'm going to keep because the rest of these are either too old or I just don't use them. So I have some Kylie, some MAC, uh, Huda Beauty... Kat Von D, what is this from London, Urban Decay, and a Buxom, and yeah, I just don't use them, so they're gonna go. Okay, let's do gloss next, yes, that sounds exciting, so uh, first I have a Bare Minerals lip gloss, I think I only have one of these, yes, no, I have two, um, the first one is in the shade Tantalize, I don't really use it, so I'll go ahead and declutter, and then this one I've never used, it's in the shade Daredevil, it came in like a little set, and it's just not like my power color, so it's gonna go. Next, I have two of these by Beauty Little. They're supposed to be like liquid lipsticks, but for me, they're definitely more glossy. And I'll be honest, I've had these for too long. So 
they both have to go. They're really nice. I really like the shade Whipped. It's a good, like, peachy nude that doesn't wash you out. But, yeah, it's just, it's been too long. So these can go. Oh, this one I actually love. It's a Too Faced Sweet Peach in the shade Papa Don't Peach. It is so good. I actually used it today, but it is too old. Like, I got this when this collection first released, so it's been a hot second, so I'll go ahead and declutter. This one I'm going to keep. It's from Glossier, and it's just the lip gloss, and this is an awesome lip gloss if you just want a little bit of shine, well, a lot of shine, and I haven't had it for that long, so this one I'll keep, and I'm also going to keep this. It's from Revlon. It is their Plumping Lip Cream, and this is a good Your Lips but Better color, and it does kind of plump your lips like a little bit, but nothing crazy. Okay, next I have my Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Sugar Sugar, and this one is for sure a little too old, so... I think it's time to go. You can even see how the color is kind of turning in the tube. So, sad day. That one is an awesome gloss, though. I have another Bare Minerals one. This one's in the shade Can't Even. And I don't even think I've used this. As you can tell, I'm not the biggest gloss girl, unfortunately. I wish I was, but I'm just not. And really, looking at this pile, the only ones I want to keep are these two. One is from ColourPop. This one's in the shade Moonchild. It's a really good dupe for the Marc Jacobs, I think, but a fraction of the price, and it's a little bit more warm. So I'm going to keep this because I do actually use this one. And then this one from Pixie is a recent love. So I opened it for the first time maybe a month ago, and while it looks kind of scary in the tube because it is like gold sparkle, on the lips it just gives you a nice little shine. So I'm going to keep these two, and then everything else. I'm going to declutter. So I'm going to declutter this one from Anastasia, um, this one from NARS, lots of little samples. I have this Grande Lips Lip Plumper, which scares me. A few more just like little samples that I got in subscription boxes. And then I am going to declutter my Louboutin because I don't use it. I didn't pay for it. It was sent to me through Octoly, so I have like no stakes in it. But I literally never use it. I don't think it's worth the money. The packaging is gorgeous, but... No, I'm not going to keep it. All right, now let's do the balms and other, like, randomish kind of stuff. So, really, the only ones I'm going to keep out of this pile is this, my Glossier Balm.com. Love this stuff. Use it every day. My Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Balm. Use it every day. And then my little Laneige Lip Mask. This is a little sample. I'm almost done with it. So, I'm going to keep these. And then, what else am I going to keep? I do like this lip stain from Revlon. This one's a good Your Lips a Better color. I haven't had it for too long, so I'll keep this as well. But I think everything else, well, no, I'll keep this one too. I paid a lot of money for this. So I'll keep the Sugar Punch. So I haven't had this for too long. I recently purchased it, so I'll keep this one too. But everything else, I will declutter. So I have a Sephora Honey Lip Scrub. My mom really likes this, but it wasn't the best for me. I have a Dior Balm that is a color changing one to more berry. And this is just a little too old. I have a few lip stains that are just a little too old. And then another one of those Revlon stains, but this one is a color I don't really use, so. Okay, let's finally tackle my lipsticks. I don't really know where to start, so I'm just going to start with ones that are newer that I know I'm going to keep. So that is this one. Uh, this is from Josie Moran. It is one of those, like, honeybee plumping lipsticks. And I picked this up literally, like, a month and a half ago. So I'm definitely going to keep this. And I'm also going to keep this little baby sample. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is in Pillow Talk. And it's so pretty. So I'm going to keep both of these. I'm also going to keep this one from Dior. It's their Lip Addict. Y'all know how much I love them. So I'm going to keep her. I am going to declare this one from Essence. I just never use it. I picked it up because Tati said it was good for a buck and I thought I'd make a cool video. And that's about where that thought ended. I mean, it is good. I want to say it's like four-ish dollars, but it's nothing that I need to keep because I have some other better options. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this. This is a Marc Jacobs Enamored Hydrating Liquid Gloss Lipstick thing. This one's in the shade One Mop Time. I have another one in the shade Mochalicious. That one's actually at work, so obviously I'm keeping that one. But I'm going to keep this too. You guys know I love this. Ooh, and I'm going to keep this one too. This is the Disney Minnie Mouse collab with Sephora. My friend Jen got this for me. And look at how cute it is. I've only used it a couple times. I've used like the side that doesn't have 
you know, the whole like Minnie Mouse thing on it. So I like to keep this just because it's so cute. It reminds me of my friend. So I'm going to keep this one. Something I'm definitely getting rid of is my Lancome Juicy Shaker. This is way too old like way too old so she's gonna go and then I also think I need to get rid of my YSL lipstick I mean it's actually it's not even close to being done but I've had this for a shameful amount of time so we'll just declutter her Ooh, this one I really want to keep this packaging I don't know why but I really like it it's from Dior I got it maybe like last Christmas and I haven't used it too much it's just cool and different so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and keep this even though I know I've had it for more than six months but look at it it's so pretty and different so I'll keep her my one exception I promise now this I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this is the pixie and dulce candy lipstick palette I don't think I've ever even opened this so yeah I just like this isn't functional for me so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one I'm going to have to get rid of too because I've had it, again, for a shameful amount of time. I should just get a new one because I do really like it. And I say that and I still haven't even used up like half of it. But, well, maybe. I've used up a lot of it. But this is a NARS Enamored Lipstick in the shade Anna. It's so pretty. I love the packaging because it snaps. But I've had it for way too long. Um, let's see. Other ones I've had for way too long. This this guy I've had it for way too long this is one of their oh I've used up a ton of it though it's kind of expanded you see that kind of weird anyways um this one's in the shade cabana boy it's a good your lips but better comfortable color but again I've had it for too long so it needs to go this one's gonna go it is from stroke of beauty it's a really good peachy nude but it is too old. Um, this one I'm going to keep. It's from Marc Jacob. And it's in the shade Slow Burn. Of course I have like a nick in it. But it is a gorgeous nude. So this one will stay. I'm also going to keep this from Nude Sticks in the shade Jamama. And I actually used this today. So the lips you see in today's video is this color with a little gloss on top. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to declutter these two Givenchy lipsticks just because I never really used them. And I think they're pretty, but see if my mom wants them maybe. But I just, I don't use them. So, ooh, this I definitely want to keep. It's a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Lumiere. I always forget how much I like this color. It's like a pinky cool tone number goes on really easy it's really comfy so I'm gonna keep this one I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this from Sigma again I don't think I've used it eh, no it's like a frosty light pink and it's just not my style I'm gonna keep my two Fenty Beauty matchsticks I have one that is more orangey that's actually really really pretty on and then this one which is kind of like more of a, like a nudie kind of shade like for Fenty and that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. And I recently picked them up. So they're going to stay. This one was recent purchase. It's from Becca. And it's from the Chloe and Malika collab. And it's a really cool nude. It's in the shade Cupid's Kiss. And it kind of has like a brownie orange thing. But it's still nude. And the packaging is so like high class. I love it. So this one's going to stay. Um, this one I think I need to get rid of. It's from Hourglass and it's in the shade nude number 5. And this is one I have a love-hate relationship with because when I put it on initially I don't like it but if I film with this and I see it on myself I think it looks really pretty but I just don't use it enough slash I've had it for too long. Speaking of Hourglass I'm also going to get rid of this. This is one of those like little matchstick things that they have. I got sent this from Octoly. And the shade just isn't for me. It's in the shade I lust for and I just am not a fan. I might keep the base and find a color that I like because I do like the feel of it. It feels really nice and heavy, but the shade in particular just doesn't work for me. These two are recent purchases, the Physician's Formula Butter Lipsticks. I like them both. I'm going to keep both of them. I have Brazilian Nut and Mob and Tube Brazil. These are actually really good dupes for the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss Stick things but a fraction of the price. This one I'm going to declutter. It's a Pop of Passion Bare Minerals lipstick that I've had for way too long. I'm also going to declutter this one from Revlon. I've just had it for too long. It's really nice. It's a good Your Lips with Better color, but I already have a lot of those in my pile, so I'll go ahead and move on from this one. Speaking of Your Lips with Better color, this one from Maybelline is really, really pretty. It's a little bit more of a deeper plummy. It's in the shade Taupe Seduction. And this was a recent purchase, and I don't have anything like this. So I'm going to keep this for me. 
Um, I'm going to declutter this one from Soap and Glory. Yeah, these are the colors I wear, so it's going to go. Let's see. Next, I have a Clinique lipstick. It's in the shade Blushing Pop. And, yeah, I don't wear this, so this can go. Next, I have a Flower Beauty lipstick in the shade Spice Petals. It's really, really pretty, but I've had it for a little too long, so I think I'm going to get rid of it. I haven't worn it in a while, so... We'll get rid of it, and are there any other, like, random ones in here besides minis? No. Okay, let's now kind of go by brand. So let's go through my MAC lipsticks first because I feel like this will make a little bit of sense. So I have four MAC lipsticks. First one is something I do love. It is in the shade Smoked Almond. So pretty. And these are super, super pigmented, but this is super, super old, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter. Next, I have the shade Brave, which, I mean, you can even see on the outside how it's kind of, like, separating. So this one can go... This one is in Cosmo. Actually, this one is not old at all. I got this... Actually, maybe it is old. I'm trying to think when my mom and I went to Atlanta. No, it's old. Okay, it's old. It's old. And then I have Craving which you can also see on the outside. It's kind of separating, so that one's old as well. I have a few from Bite. First one is this one in the shade Pecan. Oh my god, that is sad. That is disgusting. Okay, she's gonna go just because that looks awful. And then I have two of their Loose Bouche. I have Fig, which is very, very pink. I don't know why I picked this one up, but this one's way too old. And then I have Honeycomb, which is a beautiful nude. But it's also way too old, so gotta go. Alright, next we have ColourPop. I actually recently picked these up, so I don't think they're too old. But I don't think I need all of them. And they all kind of look the same. So this one's in Big Break. That's pretty. This one is in Quickie. Yeah, I don't need that one. That can go. Come on, sis. That one's pretty too. I don't know. This one is in the shade Scorpion Moon, which is gorgeous, but it leaves like a weird stain. So I might get rid of this one. And also I don't have a Scorpio Moon, so I'm not connected. And then What's Your Sign, which is actually really pretty nude. So I think I'll keep What's Your Sign. And then these two are just so similar. I don't know. I think I'll keep this one, which is in the shade Come On Sis. Okay, let's go ahead and tackle the tart ones. So I do quite like these formulas, but they're both way too old. And like, this one's busted, so she can go. And then, like I said, it's way too old. I got these when the collection first released. So, yeah. It's been a hot second. They've been well loved, though. I did really enjoy them. And before we get into all my minis, we'll do Urban Decay. So... First, I have 1993, which actually looks awful on me, so it can go. And then I have the shade Rocksteady, which is a pretty red. It's definitely more bright on the lips than it looks in the tube, but I haven't used it in a while, so I can go ahead and declutter. I have two from their, like, traveling collection, and I can't... Born to Run, that's what it is, the Born to Run collection. Uh, first one is in the shade... I don't know, Mervina? Yeah, this isn't my color. It's like a purple with some shimmer. It has never been used, but I'm never going to use it, so it can go. And then I have the shade 66, which I, oh. As I say, I do quite like it. I haven't opened it in a while, clearly, because it totally melted. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's going to go, because how can you use this without it busting? <laughs> Sad. Um, and then from that collection, I got Ready which uh, is definitely not my speed. This is very, very metallic, and I don't look good in metallic lips, so it's gonna go. And finally, these are all from the Beach Collection, which came out last summer. No, yes, last summer. And, ew, there's something on that one. So that's gonna go. Heat Wave, which is, again, a metallic. They've been doing a lot of metallics. And then Tower One, which is super metallic. So these are all gonna go, too. And then finally, I have all of my sweet little minis. So first one, this is a Tristique lipstick, which I don't really need to keep, so I'll go ahead and clutter. I have a Bite one in the shade Sweet Cream, which is not my shade. It's a little too corally for me, so I'll go to clutter that one. I have this one from Wander Beauty, which is actually not an awful color, but it's clearly has turned or something because there's little spots all over it. Yeah, 
No. I have one from Sephora Collection, which is a bright red, and I don't need this, so it can go. I have one little Tom Ford, which is quite pretty, but I think I've had it for too long, and I'm not going to, like, use it. It's in the shade Indian Rose, and it's just, like... I don't know. I don't need to keep it. And then I have three for Makeup Forever. Um, are they all in the same shade? Maybe. Actually, no, they're all different. So I have this one, which I'm never going to wear. This one, which is actually kind of pretty. And then this guy, which these look the exact same. Time out. <laughs> are these not the exact same? Maybe this one's a little bit lighter. But I don't know, I just don't see myself using minis that often unless I'm excited about it, like with the Charlotte Tilbury. So I think I'm just going to head and declutter these two. Alright y'all, so these are all the lip products that I am keeping. I told y'all I was going to be brutal in this video, and I definitely was. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the drawers, show you guys how I organized everything. And we'll do a count on what stayed and what goes, because I'm so curious. But yeah, that's what we are keeping. Say it's a successful declutter. And here is a look of my drawer after the declutter. There's actually room to grow. You really need to like not think about that. But I have a few lipsticks. I have all my liquid lipsticks in that top drawer. My glosses and stuff in the middle. And then some of my other lipsticks here and glosses that don't really fit in there. So yeah, I think this was like a major success. All right, so I think that was my most brutal declutter yet I cut my collection down by like a two quarters a quarter I have like a quarter left of what I had to begin with so I even counted because I was very curious so um I kept 41 lip products which sounds bad but get this I let go of 111 which means I had 152 different lip products in that little drawer that is sad that is that is sad uh but I feel like 41 it still sounds bad but when you see it in the drawer it doesn't look nearly as bad so this is a successful declutter i gotta say i think you guys are going to be very happy with me so um yeah let me know if you like the video if you want to see more declutters if you like watching declutters don't forget to check out my playlist and then also if you made it this long in the video if you would please go leave a testimonial for me i applied to be in the sephora squad which is kind of like their influencer program and it would seriously mean the world the link is in the description but that is everything for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i will see you guys next time